While stable diffusion models are usually uploaded on Hugging Face Model Hub, there is a platform that is gaining popularity and that is called CivitAI.com. So CivitAI.com is where Protogen got released and a lot of other models exist. So if you want to use CivitAI.com and the models from there, whether it is a CKPT or a Safe Tensor, previously you had to download it yourself and then use it. But thanks to a new extension and also thanks to the wonderful work for, by Kamen Drew, I'm sorry if the, I'm not pronouncing the name correct. So Kamen Drew has got a Google Collab Notebook, which you can use and launch automatic 11.11 UI and then you can also gain the new functionality where you can download your own Civit AI model within the GUI in itself. So you don't have to leave your automatic 11.11 UI the GUI and download it separately and use it. Everything could be done with an automatic 11.11 UI and I'm going to show you in this video how to do this step by step. The first thing you have to do is I'll link this Google call, link the GitHub repository in the YouTube description. Make sure you uh, start it. It is by Kamenduru. So you can go here and launch the very first one, which is a stable diffusion web UI. But you can also launch it based on the kind of models that you want. I'm going to use it the one with the stable diffusion, the original one, 1 1.4. Once you launch this, it is going to take you to this Google Collab Notebook. Make sure you click runtime and then select change runtime and check that you have got the hardware accelerated GPU selected. If you are sure that GPU is selected, then click all, click runtime and click run all. That will run everything and then finally you will get this URL which is a Gradio link. Once you click the Gradio link, you will be taken to this particular place where you can now create images. If you are familiar with the stable diffusion world, you know that this is automatic 11.11 UI. And here you can add your positive prompt and negative prompt. One unusual thing that you might notice is this new tab called Civit AI where you can go and search whatever model that you want. For example, let's say I want to search for a textual inversion model or embedding specifically saying and I want it first pixel art. So I'm going to go search here pixel art. I'm going to tick mark this search by term and then I'm going to click get list. Once I click that, you can see that right now I've got two models. One says pixel art embedding. The second one says pixel art SD2. I want to select the pixel art SD2. I'm not sure if it is going to work with my current model, but let's try. So the tag that you have to use, the invoke command that you have to use is this. The model is this and you can check the model in it yourself. When you go to Civit AI, you can search for pixel art and you know that there is a model called pixel art SD2. So you can see this exists. So now I'm going to go back and then see how we can use it. I'm going to first click download the model. So click download the model and go to your Google Collab notebook and then see that it says the embedding pixel art one PT is successfully downloaded inside the embedding folder because this is a textual inversion embedding. Had it been a model, it would have stored and it would have got stored in a different folder in itself. Now that you know that the model is successfully or the embedding is successfully downloaded, go back to your automatic 11.11 UI, copy this train text and go to your text to image and then pre type the textual inversion embedding. So I've given that pixel art one and then inside that I've given a beautiful panda slurping noodles. I'm going to click generate and then see what happens. I'm quite skeptical because yes, it doesn't work because the model in itself is a different model. So let's go ahead and then use a different model. So we want something for stable diffusion 1.4. So I'm going to click 1.4 as a filter here. It doesn't say it says it didn't get anything. So let's try for something else. So I'm going to remove the tag and I'm going to keep, keep uh, looking for. I'm going to say this Christmas ornament as a textual inversion. So we have got certain Christmas ornament and I'm going to search for the same thing. I'm going to go to Civit AI and I'm going to say Christmas, Christmas and I'm going to click get list. And then inside the model, you can see that there's a Christmas ornament embedding and you can see this thing. And what is the trained tag? So copy the train tag, click download model, go to your Google Collab notebook and then see that this has been successfully downloaded. Now you go back to your uh, automatic 1111 and then come here and then look for that. Before even you create your own embedding, you can go to the Civit AI website and click this small icon here, the click the I icon here that what it can do is it can actually tell you the prompt that they had used. So it says order Christmas ornament and X S X M S O R N. So the sampler, the CFG, everything is available here. 
now you can go back here and uh, you can paste that information here and if you want to use the same sampler you can use it but if you want to use a different sampler try it um, i'm not expecting the exact same result but i'm trying to use um, that as a reference now click generate and then see if you are going to get a similar image that will tell you whether the embedding has been successfully used or not so once we see here is yes, we have got something quite similar like that but not necessarily the same thing so let's try once again and uh, see what happens if you give it inside the bracket the whole idea here is uh, not to show you how to use embedding but actually to show you that you can use the the you can use okay this looks cool so you can use the um, tab the new tab civet ai here and then use the textual inversion more uh, textual inversion or any model that you want you can download a checkpoint hyper network textual inversion aesthetic gradient vae so the reason why i pick textual inversion for this particular demo is because it's quite easy for me to show um because it is um, smaller in size so i'm going to go again and then search for pixel so that we can check another one so get list and inside that we have got the pixel art embedding and i'm going to click download the model i'm going to copy the tag go back here and check it is says it is successfully downloaded i'm going to go back here and then say something like this and i'm going to say a uh, kung fu kung fu panda so let's see if it can generate a pixel art of kung fu panda um, because we don't want the actual kung fu panda here and let's see what happens okay it it looks like this okay so now you can say a portrait portrait of kung fu panda and then we can click generate again and then see how it generates this is how you can actually in fact like create game assets with this but once again the whole idea of yeah it looks amazing the whole idea of this video is to show you that you can use automatic 11 11 and the new extension tab thanks to come Drew, that is available within this google collab notebook and you can download any civet ai model or textual inversion embedding or anything that you want from that website without having to go to that website and download so without having to leave the interface you can pretty much download it and then start using it and that is exactly what i wanted to show you um quickly summarize go to the civet ai tab and uh, select the type of content that you want and then use search term and search or if you don't want to use search term just click get list it's going to down show you everything and then click download whatever model that you want and then once you have the model then you can just you download the model and then go back to your text to image or image to image and then start using it with the invoke token if it is required and that will help you use Civit AI with an automatic 11 UI without leaving the interface in itself. I hope this was helpful to you in learning how to download models from Civit AI with an automatic 11 11. I'll link the necessary links in the YouTube description, especially this Google sorry, GitHub repository. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. Otherwise, stay safe. Take care. See you in the next video.